Hello, I'm Jason. Welcome to this lesson in the Laplace Transform Tutor. Here we're going to learn how to take the Laplace Transform of the cosine function and also the sine function. They're going to look kind of similar. Uh, what we'll do is we'll apply the full-blown integral to the cosine uh, and uh, we'll do that solution and then along the way we'll kind of pick up the sine function as well. I don't think I have to explain to you how important sine and cosine are. They're going to pop up in almost you know, lots and lots of problems that you do. Um, but what we're going to do is derive it straight through the integral. Uh, gives you practice with doing that. Also sharpens your calculus skills. Now I am going to say that um, it's unlikely that you would probably see exactly how to do this um, unless you see it once. Sometimes you know derivations, you, you do them and you're like, oh that makes sense. But if you had just stared at this yourself, it, you, it may occur to you what to do and it may not. Um, so what I'm going to do is go through the integral assuming that you don't know anything and just explain everything step by step. All right, so um, let's say you wanted to find the Laplace transform of cosine beta times t. Now this, in your book, could be anything. You could say cosine a t, cosine b t, cosine whatever. But there's a constant in front of the t. Um, sometimes you might see it as omega if you're dealing with electrical engineering. There's usually a cosine in front, a, a number in front of the t. It's going to end up being the frequency of the cosine that you're talking about. But um, it's, it's a function of time, and this beta is just a constant. That's the point to realize. So what we're going to do is we're going to apply the definition 0 to infinity e to the minus st cosine beta t dt. So again, if you know how to integrate this, then you're done. That's the Laplace transform. That's what we're going to do. Um, what we need to do though is do integration by parts and it actually turns out if you remember back to calculus sometimes you have to do integration by parts more than one time you've done those kinds of problems back in calculus and it's going to happen in this problem i'm going to warn you so we're going to fill up the board doing integration by parts once then we're going to fill up the board doing it again i know it's a little bit to get through but these are kinds of questions that if i were a professor I, I might ask you just as a bonus question or something because it really shows me that you know your calculus um, now doing these kinds of integrals uh, in such detail or, or not something you have to do for every Laplace problem, but you do have to do it here. So let's go ahead and set up our integration by parts. So we'll say u is equal to whatever the exponent is, e to the minus st dv. We'll just say that's the rest of the integral, cosine beta t d t. And from this you need to derive other pieces of information that we'll plug in. So for this, let me write it in blue. For this, du what is the derivative of this with respect to time? It's minus s e to the minus s t d t, right? Think of it du dt. This is what you would take the derivative. The derivative of the exponent comes out, and then here we have an indestructible guy right there. 